we can give you a training on diagnosis and the treatment of fish diseases, freshwater and marine, via our Patreon channel. Something new we offer online since we have a difficulty to travel these days. So me, Gerald Bassler, as a flying fish doctor, can try to help you out to solve your problems with fish diseases. When we talk about ornamental fish diseases, we will talk about the diagnosis with the help of a dissection and a microscopic examinations. So you will learn how to use a practical tool and an easy determination of the diseases. Viral, bacterial, fungal, parasitic and abnormalities and disorders will be discussed in many different videos which will be presented in the coming months. Are we able to make a correct diagnosis with our naked eyes? Can you see what's wrong with these two fish? I can't, but I need a microscope. We can learn to look first for the origin of the reasons why the fish get sick. Therefore, we prepared a separate course, the causes and prevention of fish diseases, which is a separate part of my Patreon channel. And if fish diseases, the diagnosing was so easy with a chart like this, well, we would not need this course, but we know it is not that easy to recognize all those patches and spots and to think it's a very simple white spot disease or something similar. It is not. Please learn to use a microscope. This will teach you lessons. In the first eight, we will show in the video and in photographs the observation of diagnostic photographs. And we will indicate diseases and present with photographs. And we indicate to FAP that a photograph indicated in the presentations will help you to identify the problems. Why certain eye problems? Why holes? Why spots? What could that be as a disease? A very simple overview we will give in that training. For example, here, four different problems, but all looking like white patches. People think it's all one disease, like fungus, but it is not. I will explain. Behavioral sick fish, well, we have to learn to observe the sick fish, particularly during feeding time. And we have to understand how a fish are behaving normally. If you're laying on the bottom or hanging in the corner, well, learn the language of your fish. And we will show that during the discussion of the different diseases, what the fish behave like when they're showing a disease. Well, our eyes are limited. I told you that before. And that's why I will train you how to use a microscope. And we can find 90% of the diseases by simple microscopic examination. By using a simple scraping of the gills, we can determine many parasites on an easy way, just without coloring and without any staining techniques. We can recognize the jumbo cells, for example, the lymphocystes, which are easy to see. We can learn about the progress of a nasty bacterial infection called columnaris here on a guppy and then the same guppy 12 hours later. That's why we learn, have to learn to detect the problems as soon as possible and to see in a microscope like here without any coloring technique a simple magnification at three to four hundred times you can find two bacteria colonies in the microscope examination like parasitic infections we will discuss many different parasitic infections white spots odinium you can see them all here appearing on this screen we will discuss in detail with videos and photographs so you learn to identify the diseases and we will identify also the difference in freshwater and marine so the freshwater egg or marine egg or bricklinella and chylodella etc here we show an example of the neo ichthyophtheris the new white spot disease which is causing serious problems in our fish also tetrahymena or uronemina uronema in marine fish a very serious problem in certain circumstances we will discuss trematodes and flukes and multicellular parasites, many more to come in our presentations. We will show the slides like we do in a microscopic examination and also we'll discuss this damage that occurs on the fish and that you might to treat also bacterial infections, not only the parasite but also the bacteria. So like for example, we will discuss the treatment of the gill flukes 
what kind of steps you can take to help you out. We will discuss abnormalities, deformities, the discus and angel pest, Malawi bloat, etc. So maybe you can become a patron to get your VIP training. Follow these links here and try to become a more professional fish keeper. So your fish are more happy and you will be more happy. Thank you.